the Queen City Lounge is closed for business indefinitely. Cincinnati police enforcing what Governor Mike DeWine decreed. No bars or restaurants open for sit-in service. Last night, uh, officers responded to check the location, found approximately 40 people inside in violation of the governor's directive. The bar was issued a warning Sunday night when it stayed open. Police say one night later, the warning was ignored. They were operating as a bar. My understanding is they had a full buffet. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. I understand that people do want to get out, but we're just like everybody else. You know, we're, we're staying at home and abiding by what the governor put out. Captain Paul Brocksterman says this has been a trouble spot for the district, and this time was no different. They put a, a sign up, up in the window that said members only to try to get around the law. One person was arrested and faces felony charges for weapons possession, along with violating the governor's order. Assistant Chief Paul Newdigate says these are uncharted waters for everyone, but it's important to be responsible. Not only are you putting the general public at risk, you're putting our officers at risk that had to go in and deal with uh, the individuals that were in violation. Newdigate says this is not the only establishment that's been issued a warning. Please voluntarily comply. Let's all get through this together. Queen City Lounge now with no choice but to close. Assistant Chief Newdigate says he hopes that other bars and restaurants heed the governor's order. In the West Side, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.